Hey guys, this is Henry from Obeat again. Today we're back with our Pro Tools video tutorials and today we're going to learn how to commit a track in Pro Tools. So when you commit a track, you're basically rendering all the effects that are part of the track, all the inserts. Uh, you can render the volume automation, the pan automation, basically everything that the track does within your session, whether it's an audio track, a bus, or whatever it is, you turn into audio. Now, why would you do this? Well, number one, if you're trying to save uh, CPU resources, you can commit your things, your tracks, and that's gonna, for sure, reduce your CPU usage. Now, number two, if you are trying to, let's say, share your tracks with a mixer, someone's gonna mix it, okay? So, if, for example, you have a tuner on your vocals and you want that tuning to remain the same you might want to send that tuning as part of the actual vocal sound so whoever mixes already has that tuning printed now this is a feature um, that is part of pro tools and you can very easily apply it you don't need any like um, third-party installation or anything like that it's just part of pro tools you can always commit your track so your committed version, you can share that with whoever either, you know, it could be another mixer, another engineer, maybe another producer, or even for yourself, okay? You could produce the whole song, and once you're ready to mix, you can commit everything. So when you are mixing, you have, your tracks are very close to the final um, product. So when you're mixing, there's not a lot you have to do on top of that. Now, another cool feature about committing is that you can use it to save or store or archive sessions that have been already released. So if you produce a band, record a mix, edit it, you know, master it and everything, and um, you want to archive that in order to save space, you might want to commit all the tracks. So when you open the session 10 years later, you just press play and the tracks already have all the effects applied uh, there's no plugins, no nothing. So you make sure that when you open that session 10 or 20 years down the road, uh, there's full compatibility because you're not thinking about plugins anymore because everything is rendered to audio. So how do you do that? Well, very simple. Uh, I have a guitar track here that has this EQ applied. Let me go ahead and bypass it so you can a we can A, B the sound. That's without. That's with. Okay, that's without. Without. And then with. So, let's say that we want to commit this. We simply go into the name of the track, guitar, and then right click, and then commit. So here it is, commit. So what do you want to commit? Select the tracks, yes. So the track that I have selected, with this, with, which is this one uh, labeled as GTR. Do I want to consolidate the clips? Yes. Do I want to render the volume and mute automation as well as the pan? Well, right now, we honestly don't have any mute or volume or pan automation, but sure, go ahead and commit it. Meaning that if there was anything like, let's say, a pan that you automated going like left to right or something, that's going to get printed to the audio. So when you press play, you're going to hear that stereo effect. Or if you had like a volume or mute automation, that's also going to be part of that. Uh, do you want to copy a sense and group assignments? Yes. And then insert after last select the track. So it's going to insert it below this one. And then what are you going to do with the source tracks? Should we make this track inactive? Should we make it inactive and also hide it, delete it, or do nothing? Let's just make it inactive. And then offline, meaning that it's going to do it in offline mode, or you could do it online, and it'll take the time that it takes for the playback to end um, to render it. So let's just do offline. So if I press OK, boom, rendered. So check, check this out. Open this a little bit. So the previous track basically got inactive. You can see it's grayed out. And then the new track is called GTR.CM, meaning that it's the guitar track committed. You can see there's no plugins on it, but if I press play, it has the effect of the plugin of the other track, but it's already part of the audio. It's been rendered, okay? It's part of that. So you could easily get this this file, this clip, okay, this audio file, or the audio file associated to this clip, share it with anyone, and you could put this in any DAW. It doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be Pro Tools, it could be anything. And once you press play, you're gonna have exactly what we have here right now. 
So you have a guitar track that had an EQ equalizer applied to and rendered into it. Um, so that's how you commit tracks in Pro Tools. Keep in mind, you don't only you can not only commit audio tracks, you could also commit buses. So if you have like a bus of all kinds of guitars going into it, you could commit the bus. And now you have a stereo massive audio track that has all the guitars in it. Just to give you an example. So that is track commit in Pro Tools. Um, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any other questions, please call us from OBD and PC Audio Labs and we will be happy to help you. We will see you soon. Bye-bye. Want to learn how to produce music using this, or using that, or using all of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.